Hiya, this is the second of two videos on drop down menus in Excel. Now we're looking at two different types of drop down menus, static and dynamic drop down menus. Static are simpler, easier to produce and have a look at the last video if you want to know how to produce a simple drop down menu. In this video, we're looking at something a little more sophisticated and I think uh, possibly a lot more useful. That's a dynamic drop down menu. Uh, what, do we, what do we mean by dynamic? Well, if something is dynamic, it responds to something else that is changing. And in this case, responds to something else that is changing within the spreadsheet. And we mean that if you want to add a piece of data to your list of data that your drop-down menu is referring to, your drop-down menu will automatically update to display that data. So that's what we mean when we're talking about dynamic. It's something that updates as we go along, really. So how do we go about creating that? Let's have a look at the practice file. As always, you can find our practice files uh, on our website and we encourage you uh, to practice along with us. Excel is a skill. Uh, we have to practice it in order to, uh, to get good at it. So let's have a look at what we mean by a dynamic drop-down menu. I've got a drop-down menu here. Uh, looks pretty, pretty normal. Uh, it's got 10 items of data in. It's pointing, pointing at this data here. So I'm going to just add another item of data uh, at the bottom, and this drop-down menu, because it's dynamic, it's able to display data that you add to the list. If you had a normal uh, static drop-down menu, just a simple one, um, the drop-down menu wouldn't get longer as you add additional data to the list. And as you can see, this, this drop-down drop menu is getting longer. So that's called, uh, we can call it dynamic because it does that. It's a really nice feature, a really good way to impress your colleagues maybe. So this video is about how we do that. Let's go to the practice worksheet in the practice file. We're gonna work with these two cells here. The first thing we have to do uh, when, we when we create a dynamic drop-down menu is to use a count formula. The count formula is gonna help Excel to understand how, how long uh, how many rows are in that drop-down menu. So let's first implement a count formula. The formula we're going to use is count A. Count A looks at a range and then tells you how many cells in that range have some kind of information. It could be a number, uh, could be a text-based data, um, how many cells in a range have information in. So count A, then we go to the first cell in our list, to the bottom of, to the, bottom of the list, and then we keep going down because we want the formula to look, in, uh, to look at the rows below the list. Because as we, as we expand the list, as we make it longer, we want the formula to be able to understand that. So we keep going down. I've gone all the way down to the bottom. Hit enter. So the count formula is returning a value of 10. That's because there's 10 cells in the range that it's looking at that contain data. I'm going to put another piece of data at the bottom. As you can see, the count formula has updated. So that's good. That's the first step. Use a count A formula to count how, men, how many cells in the range have data in. That's the first step. The next step is to go to the cell where you want the drop-down menu, drop menu, drop menu to appear. And that's here in cell D23. So we're going to go to the data validation box, data validation, and this brings up our data validation uh, dialog box. Remember, drop-down menus are about lists of data, so we're going to go to list. And then in source, if we're doing something static and simple, we can simply refer to the spreadsheet. We're doing something dynamic, so we're going to have to do something completely different. This is the complicated bit. This requires practice, and it may be a little bit frustrating, but if you keep going, you will get it right. We're going to use an offset formula, offset. If you haven't met the offset formula before, do have a look at our video on the offset formula. The offset formula is going to tell Excel which range to look at and how big that range is. So it's exactly what we need. We're going to go equals offset and open bracket. Now, because we're working in a dialog box, you will notice that we don't get the usual prompts that Excel gives us to help complete the formula. But luckily, I know the formula pretty well. So the first piece of information we need is the anchor cell. This is the first cell that uh, the formula looks at. So that's the first cell in our list. That's the first piece of information. And then offset wants to know how far to move away from that cell. But in this case, we don't want offset, offset to move away from that cell. We want it to keep referring to that cell. So we're just going to put two zeros in there, followed by a comma. And now 
uh, the offset formula wants to know the, the size of the range that it's looking at. So we have to tell it how many rows, how many columns to look at. In terms of how many rows, that's where our count formula is going to come in useful because our count formula tells us how many rows in our range have data in. So we're going to point the formula, um, the offset formula to our count formula, then hit, hit uh, the comma key again. The last piece of information is how many columns in the range. Well, we have a list and a list contains one column. So we're just going to put a one in there, close bracket, and we should be good for an offset formula. So let's try. It's going to take this bit of data off the bottom. So we have an arrow, so we know we have a drop down menu. That's a good start. Let's see what's in the drop down menu. Okay, this looks good. We've got all, all the data, but is it dynamic? That's the question. So I'm going to put some more data down here, person 11, person 12. You'll see that the count formula has updated. So hopefully the count formula would have updated the, the offset formula that our data validation works off and that gives us the list. So this should, should say 12 in, and it does. Okay, seems to be working well. You see how it's working dynamically. Now I'm going to um, take this down to five people, and we should have five people in our list, which we do. Okay, so as you can see, uh, that's working dynamically. And if we think about it, that's gonna save us a huge amount of time. It's so much better than having to add data to a list and then having to go to the data validation box every time to adjust the list. That's gonna take a lot of time. It's, um, it's gonna be inefficient. So this is a really nice way to manage your lists. And it's quite an, quite an advanced Excel technique. So you might impress a few people with it. You're certainly gonna save people a lot of time. Okay, so that's drop-down menus in this series. We've covered simple, static drop-down menus, and now we've just covered dynamic drop-down menus. Really help, uh, I really hope that they help embellish your spreadsheets, make them look good, and that they save you and your customers or your colleagues a lot of time. Good luck. <laughs>